Welcome to Miss Love Doll's video on the role of the nucleus. Have you ever wondered how each little cell in your body knows what to do and how to do it? Think of all those little cells in your digestive system organs. How do the cells in your liver know how to make bile instead of stomach acid? Bile! Yay! Stomach acid! Boo! The answer is in the nucleus. And that's what this video is all about. Before we begin, make sure you have the supplies you need. You'll need your science notebook, some colored pencils, and a regular pencil. Yours should be sharpened. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. The nucleus is a large organelle inside every plant and animal cell. Well, except for red blood cells, but that's a different video. Just the nucleus in the animal cell, nucleus in the plant cell. The nucleus is known as the brains, or the control center of the cell. That's because it has the instructions for how to do everything that the cell needs. The instructions are located in the genetic material that's contained inside the nucleus. Hey, are you taking notes? This is what your Corn Cornell notes might look like by now. Press pause if you need to. The nucleus has some important structures that we need to know so we can understand how it controls the cell. They are the nucleolus, which is like a little nucleus inside the larger nucleus, the nuclear envelope, and pores that allow things to transport inside and out of the nucleus, and chromatin, which is the genetic material in a relaxed, unwound state. Are you still taking notes? Well, add one more thing. Chromosomes are the genetic material when it's condensed when the cell is ready to divide. So how do your Cornell notes look now? Again, press pause if you need to. So, what are chromosomes anyways? Chromosomes are condensed forms of DNA. Condensed is sort of like concentrated. You can buy a can of condensed milk and dilute it with water so that it makes two cups of sweetened milk. Chromosomes contain the information or directions on how to make everything that an organism needs to survive, grow, and be sex successful. Chromosomes are made of DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is the genetic code for the organism. Each pair of chromosomes contains a one half from the father and one half from the mother. Organisms, organisms get their DNA from each parent. So, how many chromosomes do you think humans have in each of their cells? 10, 23, 46, or 200 chromosomes? Well, if you said 23 chromosomes, you're right, as long as you're talking about a sperm and an egg. If you said 46, then you're also right, because all human body cells have 46 chromosomes. If you said 200, then you're talking about a crayfish. And what are you doing in seventh grade science anyways? Chromosomes made of DNA contain segments called genes. The typical chromosome has genes for everything that the organism needs. In humans, we have genes for freckles, genes for eye color, insulin, a gene for curly hair, and many, many more. Over, there are over 20,000 genes in the human genome. A complete count is still being researched. Human chromosomes have genes for everything that the human organism needs to be successful, survive, and grow. Chromosomes are not related to complexity or intelligence of the organism. Humans have 46 chromosomes. Crayfish have 200. Dogs have 78, and beavers have 40. So what is the structure of a chromosome? When chromosomes are loose and uncoiled, the DNA is called chromatin. When it's wound tightly and condensed, the DNA is called a chromosome. So how do your notes look now? You should have information on DNA, loose and uncoiled, chromatin, and tightly wound as a chromosome. 
Why are sperm and egg cells different from all of the other cells in your body? That's a good question, and it's the key to how organisms reproduce and have so much diversity. Sperm and egg cells have half the DNA when compared to all other cells in the organism. When a sperm and an egg come, cell come together, the result is a complete number of chromosomes for the organism. One chromosome from the female parent is paired with the homologous chromosome from the male parent. And now you know the role of the nucleus.